what it do you too so for this video i wanted to come and do an update on my year and a half of growth since i cut all my hair off so if y'all haven't seen the video which y'all should i'll link it up here and down in the description box it's my unofficial big chop which i did in july of 2015. really since then i have i can honestly say i'm sister happy almost every day <laughs> I still wish I can go back to that hairstyle. I had cut that a couple days before I had went off the training. If you didn't know, I'm in ROTC. And for our training, it was a month-long training I had to go to. And that was like the perfect timing for me to cut my hair because it was short. All I had to do was wash it, which took eight minutes, wash it and go. The only thing that was difficult, though, was that because... We was always on the go, here, there, here, there. I was always taking my PC off, putting it back on, taking it off, putting it back on. And it's not like I could carry around like a comb to be picking all throughout the day. My hair did get to where it was like, it looked like, you know when a guy doesn't have a haircut after a while? It was looking gruffy and not, technically ain't the word, but it was looking like all over the place and wild. So that was the probably the only struggle I had when I was in training. But that still it was a good length. And stinky, oh, that was the perfect length. If you were all to see a female, just cut your hair off. Because stinky, <laughs> it works. <laughs> I really wore, wore my hair that fall of 2015 during school. I wore my hair pretty much like in a mini fro. All I would do was pick it out every day, put some, well, put some moisturizer and put some oil in and then pick it out every day and then went about my day. That's really how I wore my hair that whole semester almost. Then came December of 2015. That's when I got really daring. I remember I was over at my roommate house for the holidays and me and her was just talking. I was cutting her hair because she, she was happy too. So I cut her hair and her hair was long. It was down her back. So I cut it like shoulder length. And we was just talking. Then we was like, you know what? We should dye our hair. I was like, yeah, we should. <laughs> and if you know me, <laughs> I'm that type of person. Like, I can't like say I'm going to do something and then ponder on it because I'll talk myself out of it. If I'm going to do something dramatic and daring, I have to do it then and there or I'll change my mind. So we literally, it took us two hours to decide we was going to cut our hair. So literally, I mean not cut, to color our hair. So what we were doing, I was cutting her hair and while I was cutting, I was like, you want to dye your hair? She was like, yeah, you want to dye your hair? I was like, yeah. So we literally, when I was finished cutting her hair, and her stepsister was there too. So we all got in the car to go to Walmart to buy different hair dyes. Bruh. So I got my hair dye. She got hers and her stepsister got hers. So we all got it. Then we went back into the uh we went back to the house and just started dyeing each other hair. So the color I was going for, I want I've always wanted red hair. But because of always you see I didn't want it to be out of regulation. So I was trying to pick a safe color. So the color I picked was kind of like a coppery color. And in the box, the copper came out like extra vibrant. So you could see it. So I'm like, okay, I guess this is a happy medium. I'll pick this color. On my hair, since my hair is thinking black at the time, like it didn't come out like that. It was much darker than i had anticipated and i was like uh because you couldn't even the house was dark at the time because it was like 12 o'clock at night when we did this like the house was dark when i dyed it i wasn't i was like happy that i had dyed my hair because i always wanted to dye my hair but i wasn't satisfied with the color but like a couple of days later we had went outside and when the sun hit it it was like really vibrant you can really see it but i'm like i didn't want a color to where you can only see it in the sunlight so I was like, uh, whatever, I guess I'll deal with it. But I did like the color at the time. So fast forward, fast forward into spring of 2016. My color was going, it was growing out. And then like, it was starting to ombre. And my hair was growing real fast then. Cause I was like, the only thing that's, the one thing that's cool about dyeing your hair is that you can actually see from the point you dye it 
and when it starts growing, you can see the growth. So you can really measure the growth by, like I measure my growth by how much black I saw. So it was like probably this much of color and then that much of black. I was like, ooh, my hair is growing. <laughs> So I was content with that. But then after a while, I didn't like it because it started looking brassy, if that makes sense. <laughs> it did. It started looking kind of like not, it just looked like an old color. And the fact that it, the old color, since it was fading, and then the black and that blunt cut in the color, I was like, um. Mm. So that was when my hair was like, my hair shrinkage is real with my hair. So you really couldn't see that black unless I stretched it out or unless I started twisting my hair and had like twist out. Then you could see the black and the discoloration or the difference in color from my dyed hair and my undyed hair. So then in the summertime, I went back home and one of my uh, high school buddies, me and her was talking about dye hair again because I wanted to dye my hair to get that, uh, to get the color that wasn't, so that I could get rid of that color difference. I wanted to redye my hair. My high school buddy, she was like, okay, I'm going to dye my hair. And like I said before, don't let me think on it because I overthink it and think myself out of it. So we were literally at the beauty supply store. She was originally supposed to make me a wig. And I was like, cool, I'm going to buy this, 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 this. We went to the blue, uh, booty. We went to the beauty supply store, and we started looking at hair. And I started second-guessing myself because we was in there for a long time. Because I was like, I don't know if I want that. I don't know how that's going to look at me. I don't know what that is. No. So then I was like, you know what? She started getting frustrated with me because I, could, I wouldn't make a decision. I was like, sorry. But then... It came to a point where I was like, you know what, skip it. I had talked myself out of it. I was like, skip it, I don't want a wig. But if you want to dye your hair, I'll dye it. And then she was like, and I was like, I'm serious. Oh, we got to buy this dye quick or I'm going to change my mind. So what we did, we went over there about the dye. And I was so indecisive because, again, I wanted red hair. I still wanted, my love for red hair did not ever change. I still wanted my red hair. So we were looking, looking, looking. And then I decided on this, like, fiery color. And I was like, nah. But then I was like, I kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But then I just ended up buying it. And I was like, you know what? Skip it. I'll just buy it. And it will just be it. So we had went back to the house. She had died. She had bought a dye for her too. So she had died. I had dyed her hair first. But then I was thinking, because I had to go to training again this past summer. But I went to the Dominican Republic. So I was like, I don't feel like them coming at me since I was going with a bunch of other cadets from other schools. And I didn't want to represent my school bad. So I decided to wait. And I was like, oh, I taught myself how to it. I decided to wait, and I chickened out last minute. And she was like, you done let me dye my hair, and you ain't going to dye your hair. I was like, I promise when I get back from training, because I have another trainer after that Dominican trainer, I was like, I, when I get back, I will dye my hair. And she was like, mm-hmm. So I went to the Dominican Republic, which was an experience. It was beautiful. Then I came back home. Then I went to, uh, and then with the other Dominican Republic, my hair didn't really give me that much problems. And since it's, it was extra sunny and extra hot, I was wearing my hair out when we had a chance and wasn't in uniform. And that sun hit it so good, and it just shined, and that color was coming through. The color before, like that, remember, I still have that uh, color from the first time I dyed my hair, and the color was coming out real good. And I was like, ugh. This is what I'm talking about. It came out in pictures. I was feeling myself that day. So then I came back home. Then I went to my other ROTC training because at this point, it was that awkward length. And so I had to actually manipulate when I was in training. And it wasn't too, too bad. What I did in training, though, one of my battles at the time, she uh, would twist my hair like this. And she did it like that like a couple times when I was in training. And that helped a lot because all I had to do was wash it. She would twist it. Not twist it. She would cornrow it. And then I would go about my business. 
And that made dealing with my hair a lot easier because I did not feel like dealing with my hair when I was in training. It's too hot for that. <laughs> so then I came back from training and I was at her house again, at my uh, high school buddy's house again. So we was at Walgreens. No, we was doing something, thinking, just thinking. And then she brought up the situation with me not dyeing my hair and chicken it out. I was like, I, okay, I'll do it now if you want me to do it. She was like, okay, we can go to Walgreens. And Walgreens was legit across the street from her house. So, we, But we didn't go to that one because, again, it was late night. It was like probably 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning. We was like, we'll go to the 24-hour Walmart. Uh, Walmart, the 24 hour Walgreens that's like a little bit down the street. And so we went there. We was looking at Doc because she wanted to re dye her hair because she didn't, her color, she did a honey blonde. Her color had uh like faded out to where it was like brown. I don't know how that happened, but it was brown and dark. So she wanted to re dye her hair like a purpley. And it was really pretty. It didn't come out in her hair like it did on the box, but it was a real pretty purple that she attempted to do. So I had did the color and I was having second thoughts when we was looking at when we had went to this Walgreens and was looking at a color because I was like the box I had the lady on the box her hair looked so red it like looked like it would make me be out of regulation but then I was like you know what like last time my hair didn't come out as red as I thought it was gonna be so hopefully because my hair is still dark then it will tone down the red I was going back and forth, back and forth. It was between, it was a red that I had originally picked that was like a, a hot, hot red. And then the other red that I had picked before that I had dyed my hair with. I was like, I'll just do this. This is safe. I was like, you know what, Tia, I'm tired of living on the safe side. I'm just going to have this color in my hair. So I chose the riskier one that I already had a box with. I had, I needed about none of them because my hair, I had a lot of hair at the time. So one box when I did it. So I had got the box of hair dye and we had went home. So she was like, you know what? I'm going to dye your hair first this time. <laughs> so we dyed my hair first and then I dyed hers. And at first I wasn't happy at all because I was like, this is the same thing twice again. Like literally I dyed my hair and you can't even see it for real. But everybody, her and her mom was like, Tia, you can see this like clear as day. I was like, sure you can. And I was like, I could, I could see it, but then it wasn't, it wasn't as red as I wanted it to be red. To where if you're in a dark or a dim lighting, you could still see it. And to me, you couldn't see it like that. So the next, she had twisted my hair up and moisturized and whatnot. And then the next morning, I had went outside and that red was popping. I was like, oh, it is red. <laughs> I love that hair red. I love that color. And that color was like. It was like closer. It wasn't what I wanted, like exactly to the T, but it's closer to what I wanted. And I was like, bro, I liked it. I really did. And that's the hair that I still have in now. But I don't know if you can see it, but like right here, it's faded out a little. Like, it's weird because my hair is like, it looks more of a brown e red than a red red, if that makes sense. So you can kind of see on the braid itself. Oh. Oh, come on, light. On the braid itself, you can see it kind of being lighter. And then right here, my roots are dark. Like, I know right here is where it kind of starts to um, see the difference. This is the red and then that's the black. So, yeah, it's time for another dying soon, but I don't know. <laughs> I do want to redye my hair, but I don't know. My hair right now is to a point where it's kind of getting a little long. A little long. <laughs> It's getting a little long. I think it's probably getting a little bit shorter than how it was in the video I was talking about the first time I cut my hair to this uh, length. I'll link it right here or down here if you want to see that too. With me dyeing my hair, my hair is extra dry. Like I can literally see it. Like one of my line sisters was talking about how uh, she, when she dyed her hair, she cut her color off a couple, like a week or two ago. And she was talking about how, like, when the color was still in, she could, like, literally go down her hair strand and feel where the color is. And that's how I am. Like, I can feel where the tips of my, I still have the tips of my hair where it's double dyed from the last time and the first, the first time and the second time I dyed it. And, like, that, 
them ends are shot, boy. They shot. Like, they are dead. Like, you can feel it. And they kind of like, it doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. Because I like coloring my hair. But I'm like, yeah, they shot. <laughs> but one thing that I did, because I was like, with the second time dyeing my hair, I wanted to make sure that that color was going to come up. So what I did, I took a developer that was in the box, which is a 20, I want to say, a 20 developer, a 45 developer, and I think a little bit of 50 developer. And I wanted to make sure that color came in. And, ooh. <laughs> but I'm like, I still like the color. I'm still going to dye my hair again. Yeah, that's my year and a half update. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see y'all in the next one.